name's Chris Schmiel, and uh, I work here at Integration Acres in Albany, Ohio. And uh, I've had four different SARE projects over the years, and uh, SARE has been a great uh, opportunity for us to innovate and uh, incorporate a little bit of research into a crazy idea and to turn a crazy idea into something that's uh, you know, successful. And uh, we've worked with pawpaws black walnut holes, and fermented foods. And uh, we've really uh, enjoyed the easy process for uh, uh, filling out um, a SARE uh, application, um, you know, and having uh, the opportunity to write the reports has been a great way to, you know, synthesize what we've learned through our project. Farming here in Ohio, uh, where I live, is in the hill country so it's a little different most people may think of ohio being lots of corn and soybeans but down here in the appalachian foothills um you know we have a different type of farming that we do uh, a lot of pasture management uh and then for us our native our native uh you know uh plants are our trees so by focusing on these native plants um you know, they're, they're not your typical crops. And so uh, we kind of start falling into the specialty crop category right away. We've tried to have an integrated approach to our farming. Um, and Sarah's, Sarah's very much supports that, I believe. Um, they also, I think, in their guidelines for these projects, look at a lot of uh, value adding. And uh, that's why the fermented food project, I think, was a, a successful grant application. Um, and then, you know, I think for us, like communicating our, what we've learned through our SARA project has been, I think, a pretty successful uh, way to help expand our markets and uh, expand our networks. So um, when we uh, have a little pamphlet that we come up with through our SARA project, we're able to use that as a kind of like a calling card for, uh, for our, what we've learned and our business and SARA.